Hello guys, uh, welcome to my final presentation for today's course. And I'm really happy again to be with you here, all professionals, because today we're going to talk about uh, one topic, which is Sandra. Sandra? Mm -hmm. With me? Today we're going to talk about a topic that helps me, you, you Spartak, you Sandra, if we use it properly. Works, helps us to work and be successful in what we do. And if we don't use it properly, it will lead to this. Korean Airlines flight 801, 140 per persons died. Or this, American Airlines flights 1420. 103 guys died. Or the last one, Air India Express flight 812. Sandra, you know how many people died here? A lot, I would think. It's a lot. You have any ideas why it happened? Why I showed you these pictures from the beginning and what are we going to talk about today? Mm, Fraction. Not at all. Kind of some kind of mistake, correct. All three cases, one mistake. So all three cases, one mistake, that's correct, Bota. Spartak, any ideas why we're here? Mm, yes, I, I think about air crashes. Something like this. So today, you almost correct. So the air crashes is a consequence, but the reason led for everything here is this. The issue of what we're going to talk is fatigue. It's a simple fatigue, guys. Again. It's our life, we, we know about this. So it's because they lost a, a you know, pilot so badly. So catch the thought. You know, I think it's one of the reasons, but at the beginning... We all have to work so hard. Uh, it's yes and no. So, but first, we're going to hold your thoughts about that, because we're going to need that, absolutely. What do you think, guys, is the reason for the fatigue? What is fatigue? What is fatigue for me? Sandra, what is fatigue for you? What is the general reason? What is fatigue? When somebody tired, somebody tired due to maybe bad rostering or bad time management. So we're not talking about the reasons. Yes, a lot of a lot of. So guys, we're not talking about the reasons right now. The, the, so the main issue is fatigue is basically that you not perform well as as much as you in normal life. Mm. But again, hold for the thoughts. But there are three types of fatigue. So first of all, it's transient fatigue. I do not get afraid of this wonderful term because it's just brought by extreme sleep restriction or extended lack of sleep within one or two days. Mm -hmm. Imagine uh, your youth time in college when you used to party a lot. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago, <laughs> but still. Again, Sandra, holding your thought, it can be the reason in our professional life, but why? We'll talk about later. So right now, the second type of fatigue is cumulative. So basically, that's what you mentioned, Sandra, about the roster thing. Also, am I correct? Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. So basically, in our line operation as pilots or cabin crew, it's fatigue brought by repeated mild sleep restrictions mm. for extended hours caused by a relevant roster, for example or other reasons that we can talk about later. And the last, most of this, is Kirsadian fatigue. It's again, this sounds silent, very science term, but again, it's reduced performance during night hours. You know, we as human beings, naturally, we, at daytime, we should work. At nighttime, we should sleep. It's our natural thing. But again, we're in the world of commercial aviation. We fly day and night. We, we have a lot of rostered night flights, a lot of rostered day flights. But biologically, we still, at that era, where there was no planes, where there was no light, daytime, we were, sun is light, no sun is no light. So that three types of fatigue, we're going to talk about it. But again, guys, according to you, Spartak, Sandra, Bota, I would like to give you at least one not at least, give me one example of your personal uh, increased illness, not illness, likeness of air caused by fatigue. When you fatigue personally, what do you feel? Sparta. Just one thing, when you fatigue, what happens to your body? 
Uh, what happens to you? you know, if, if you give me one thing that you really recognize that, hey, I'm fatigued. Yes, when I was a academic, I remember that when I'm, uh, I feel fatigued, my mm, hands, like, doing this. Hand, shaking, shaking hands, hands. Yes. correct. Sandra, any hazards that you think that I'm getting fatigued? Uh, well, you, you lose your concentration. You lose your concentration. So we have a shaking hands, use concentration, and what up? Remember when you bad mood. Bad mood. That's correct. So that's all came to hazards. With my personal experience, I have increased reaction time as a pilot. Mm -hmm. Even simple things you do it to me, and I like. Uh, also, can be you can be moody. Mm -hmm. You can shake your hands. So also, impaired memory. You forget in simple things very quickly. So. In a pilot fatigue, this is my personal experience, let's please look here. This is our capabilities as pilots with, without fatigue. At, at the beginning of the flight, we have a lot of capacity, everything is going well, but at, during landing, we have increased workload, we have a lot of tasks to do, is to land the plane, but capability is reduced. Can you imagine, if we implement fatigue in this Thing, this capabilities even goes down. So, uh, in ATC world, on the pilot world, it can be uh, one of the hazards is will be a poor decision making, which is essential in landing in our whole operation. It's all about decisions. Again, a slow reaction into the changing situation. Clouds, weather, speed, everything goes with the time, but we're slow to react. And also, failure to notice that something's going wrong. It's very dangerous, guys. Remember three pictures. That leads to crash, which we don't want to see in our life. So, guys, uh, what up? Can I use your help? Yes. So, can you please help me with the writing stuff? So, Sandra and Spartak. Now we know the hazards, but again, Sandra, now I think it's your turn. What is the contributing factors in our work that can lead to fatigue? You already mentioned that. Did I? Yes. Uh, the, the reasons before fatigue in our line operation. The, the rostering. Yeah. Just write it down, Sandra's point, from the beginning. So that's a contributing factor, number one, is a poor rostering. That means it's not dependent on how we feel, it's how we face, because in this business, it's not about how we fly. We also depend on a lot of people, and they can make, they make mistakes, and that will affect us. Also, Spartak, what do you think about, again, another contributor factors, maybe your personal life, bad, maybe your... Bad time management. Absolutely, management. absolutely. Some people like to party, where we have, they have to sleep. Some people... For example, I'm going to stay one more hour watching this TV series, but I have a morning flight. It's just one series. So, bad time management. Bora, yourself, what do you think that can, can lead to poor decision? Health problems. Health problems, that's correct. Absolutely. We're not robots. Also, health problems. For myself, guys, as a pilot, I can add this emotional stress. Even if I try to control my emotions sometimes, I cannot do that. This emotional stress. Also, adding up to Sparta, your point is sleep or nap opportunities. Mm -hmm. For example, if you are a young parent, you have a baby, you want to sleep. And also, you plan to sleep at 10 a.m., but 12.30, alarm clock, which is not your set, is your baby. And Sandra, going to your point, um, time awake prior to duty. Sometimes on the paper, it says everything okay, but in reality, this day after the flight, it took you in, you're stuck in traffic, yeah. it took you two hours instead of 30 minutes to get to home. Exactly, yeah. That will affect on your sleep, and you have a morning flight mm. at the beginning. Mm. So, so, it's time awake prior, prior to duty, so you can use traffic or duty, like not proper t uh, time, time awake prior to duty. Time awake prior to duty. Awake? Awake, yeah. 
yes, you plan everything to sleep, but there are some reasons that doesn't go well. So, thank you, Boda. That's what we have. Thank you so much. Have a seat. And guys, at the end, so basically, typical scenarios, what we just talked. And you know, guys had strike because of that, because fatigue can kill. And we saw that it can kill. Also, wake up. Tired pilots risk life. Tired employees in our business, they risk life. It's not all about pilots. It's about everyone, everything involved, because we do one thing. And also, guys, last bit of information. Now we know what is fatigue. Now we know what the reason for the fatigue. Let's come up with the solutions. Let's say, what can we do as professionals to reduce fatigue? As employers, as employers, let's, talk, let's start with that. Sandra, what do you think that can help your point? What do you think can these guys in the cloud crew control camp, what can they do better for me well, to perform they, better? They, they, under, they need to understand, you know, fatigue a bit more as well. I don't think they really, sometimes you feel like they, um, they think you're just faking it, you know? Absolutely. Uh, it's like they don't really understand. Maybe they need to feel it themselves somehow. And I really think about the rosters where, you know, there, there could be traffic, like you said. Absolutely. Like, you know. That's why, as you, I would like to have a feedback. That's why in our company, we have a safety management system where you can uh, write a fatigue report. Mm -hmm. If you don't want your name under it, mm -hmm. you also can write it Antonymous, mm -hmm. without any names, but you can give your feedback if you think this is that's not should, how it should be on, on, by documents and regulations. Mm -hmm. Please write it down, because every situation, every single person counts. We, they will take actions on that. Boto, what do you think can can help us to prevent fatigue? Mm -hmm. Maybe understanding. Absolutely. Side, side of the people, pilots, or Absolutely, like doctor says, if you understand, if you know your illness, you already know how to fight it. If you know your fear, you know how to fight it. The same works with fatigue. It's about trainings. Yes. Trainings and optimizing the working conditions as well. Spartak, what do you think? Let me point. You can reduce your hand shaking before the fight <laughs> or... Uh, maybe to, to make like a plan of your lifestyle, yes, Absolutely. To, to, to make with the priorities, with your priorities. Absolutely, very brilliant. It's a planning activities, planning meals, planning rest, planning your sleep schedule. It's all about planning. We, sometimes we forgot about, we just live our life. We have a roster, we fly to after the flight we, and we forget. We forget ourselves, we forget our body. Just planning, plan please. It's your life, take responsibility for your life and then you can take responsibility for other people. So, even, even if you're off duty, please, plan your meals, plan your sleep. I know it's day off, but it's not your day off, you just spot partying all the time. So, also guys, and as we work together as a group in our airline, advise colleagues, if you see that, he's fatigued or he's doing something, just advise. And maybe they didn't have a chance for this training. So pass my message that we can work successfully and we fly longer and we become uh, one of the safest airlines in the world. And we prevent those fixtures. Thank you.